Hello. Welcome to the Site Delta Class D Guide. The following video will assist you during your experience in Site Delta. Greetings. Today I will teach you how to play Site Delta as a Class D. But first, you need to be aware of the basic Site Delta rules here. Rule 1. Do not exploit in Site Delta. Rule 2. Do not attempt to glitch into restricted areas. Rule 3. Do not commit inappropriate acts. And most importantly, always follow Roblox TOS. And now, time for the simple Class D containment rules. If you can read the sign on the floor, going across the red line will have you terminated by a combative. Pulling out a weapon in front of a combative will have you terminated on site. Terminating a fellow Class D will make you lose 10 credits and give you a star. If you are trying to talk to the security department, it won't work, they are not allowed to talk to Class D. If you want to earn credits, the images I am about to show you are locations of all the crates you can loot for credits. With the credits you have earned, you can purchase anything in the CTC shop, but you will need information about the items in the shop. Now, I will show you the information about the NPCs in CTC and Sector 2. An NPC named Carl will sell you a crowbar in CTC shop. An NPC named Marcus will give you a quest to deliver a weapon crate to Sector 1, Foundation All Purpose Shelter. Delivering the weapon crate will reward you 100 credits and a P90. The NPC's name Jarquist Tyrone and Food Server does nothing important but dialogue. Talking to a NPC named Chat will get you terminated because Chat is a combative. If you are looking forward to get out of Class D containment, using the vents is a cheap choice. Going through the Class D containment shop vent will take you a random area in Sector 2. Going in the vent in Class D containment garden will take you near Sector 3. Going through the cafeteria vents will take you inside Sector 1, if you are unlucky enough you might spawn outside Sector 1. 